time now, 5.05, so just make sure you give yourself a lot of extra time so you can grab your burrito, yes. make sure you don't hit any rain showers, <laughs> exactly. and avoid all the traffic. That's oh, right. boy. No just sleeping a, in today, folks. That's right, just a couple of obstacles that you have to just face this bit. morning. Yeah. Maybe free Taco Bell will kind of make it a little bit better, you know what I mean? That's I true. Guess, yeah. I guess that's the silver lining there. Get yourself some free breakfast to maybe uh, make the traffic, and for some of you, the rain a little bit better for the start of the day. You're looking out live radar. It looks like we have a couple of showers rolling through parts of Crawford County, Upson County, Taylor and Macon County all moving off to the east. So heads up in places like Bibb County. We might hear a little bit of rain on the roof in a few minutes. Also parts of Peach County and Houston County. This could be rolling into your area in the next few minutes. Now notice it's all generally fairly light rain for the start of the day and that will be the consensus when it comes to our rainfall today. For the most part, just going to be light. Now this is all out ahead of our cold front. Front currently starting to push into the southeast. We talked about this little purple line the other week. It means that this weather system as a whole is weakening. So we're not going to expect any severe weather. Yesterday, the weather service or the storm prediction center, I should say, did want to put a severe threat for parts of central Georgia, but that has since been expired. So that is good news when it comes to what's happening right now. Of course, we have the rain, but also we're pulling in wind out of the south around that area of high pressure that's now off the coast. So if you're not dealing with the rain this morning, you're going to notice that it's warmer out there. 59 right now in Perry, a big improvement for those of you who don't like the cold as compared to yesterday morning. Look at Montezuma here at 64, 60 in Unadilla and in Cochran, 56 in Forsyth, 55 in Gordon, and 57 if you're waking up with us in Dublin. So as we go through the day today, we'll have that chance, of course, for a few showers for the morning. It looks like most of our rain will be on the way for the afternoon as our front gets closer in into the evening hours. So for the ride home today, you might run into a couple of showers. Here comes our cold front. Out ahead of it, we'll have the chance for showers, maybe a few thunderstorms. Tomorrow we could have a couple of heavier downpours as that front will add just a little extra lift. So expect the chance for maybe a heavy downpour or two, primarily for the morning, really the early morning. So before most of us even head out the door, as you head out the door tomorrow, you'll notice it might be a little bit breezy. And then through the afternoon, our humidity is going to drop. That's what you're going to notice with this front. Unfortunately, this front isn't going to really cool us down, but it will cool our dew point temperatures down and that means some drier air will be on the way. So notice as we start the day, we're in the 60s, but by seven o'clock. So for any of the Friday night football games, it's going to be dry. It's going to be comfortable and our temperatures, of course, at this point will be starting to cool and we're going to wake up in the low 50s on Saturday morning, maybe even some upper 40s. So it'll be a really comfortable Friday evening and start to the weekend. Temperatures are going to stay warm, but notice we could have another system on the way by the start of next week that could bring us back in the 70s by Tuesday and Wednesday of next work week.